Top of the morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. It's middle of 15, guys, episode 75. Welcome back to the God Podcast. I meant to say with a D at the end of that God, but uh, can't cuss in the first minute. So, And I don't know if the song that played counts as cussing. This week, I saw a bunch of funny and cool stuff online, and we're just going to go over it, okay? That's what this episode is, right? Is it a lazy way to do a podcast? Maybe. But uh, it's my podcast, so you know what I mean? And... Uh, Joining me tonight, a disembodied voice, as always, we got El Justino, Justino Tarantino, you know what I mean? And uh, Josh Feigenbeck, don't say Tarantino because that's my last name. But uh, but before we before we start, I do. There's a lot of people I gotta thank for you know, your guys' unwavering support for what we do is so cool. I, there, I, like in the future when I get to the point where I can start making like really good money off this I want to do something cool for you guys you know what I mean I don't know what it is but I, for the people who support like you shouldn't just be like oh I'm a supporter like there should be something that like people do so I don't know man I I like to think big with that kind of stuff but Fran, Jen her partner Charles Noberto, Rachel Champion James, Tommy J. Fitty ronald like bro there, there's so many of you there's more to like actually name that's how cool like you know when like it grows to the point where like there's too many goddamn people to name but like bro emily the justin coming over every week like that stuff like that it's it won't work unless that stuff happens right so there's a lot of people who like they'll and they'll hit me up they'll they'll share like bro anybody that has ever talked to me about this I love you, bro. Like, for real. Like, I'm... And I know lately I've been on some sad boy shit. Like, there's been episodes where I, like, get into like, this weird, like... And, like, I feel like... But when you feel like you're born to do something, you feel like you have... There's a message behind certain things. And that's kind of what I've been aiming to do. If I didn't name you in that... And when I was naming the people, I, I am so sorry. You can beat me up when you see me. I, and I'll give you permission. I won't swing back. But there is too many of you now who like legit, who legit like ride for us. So, and then, you know, like I, I want to do something cool for everybody. Mark from, Mark from, he's from Arizona. I don't know if you care if I've told everybody this, but that to me, bro. And I'm going to tell you before we get start the episode, when you had, when Justin had you FaceTime me and I was in my living room and I, you know, I talked to you, bro, I've had real family never say what you said to me. And, like, when you were, like, the what you said, bro, like, it kind of, st- like, made me shook in the living room. I told Justin after the phone call. He can show you the ma- He can show you. I was like, bro, like, we don't have family talk to us like that. We literally have real blood family members who don't support me and you whatsoever with music or podcasting. This guy, the what he just said to me on the phone, I was like, what? Like, we made it in life, bro. Like, we, like, this is what life's about, but... Yeah, let's get started. So I talked about, I saw some stuff online and it's like some lazy boy way of doing podcasting, but I don't care because we're going to have fun tonight, I send. So first picture on the board. Look at this picture, I send. Whose knee is that, bro? Whose knee is that, dude? You know what I mean? You fucking remember. So it says, this generation of kids will never know this pain. We was really outside 24-7. Oh, we was? Oh, we was, bro. Because if you take a look at this person's knee... By the way, sorry, whoever's knee that is. That'd be funny if it was someone's elbow. So fucking chubby they are. But, bro, so Justin was chasing me as kids. We lived in Everett, right? And we lived next to this convenience store, which is convenient for the story because I'm running up the up the sidewalk. Justin's chasing me. It was like a gold mace type thing, wasn't it? It, it wasn't a, a mace, dude. It was literally just like a... A ball and chain? No, like no. a... like a, a gold pipe? A baton or like a rod oh, or some shit. I like to say mace. I don't know where you get mace from. Oh. Uh, I like to make the story sound a little more dramatic, but no, he were so you were chasing me with something. Nah, you do how I do that, bro. Yeah. You be lying your ass <laughs> off for no reason. Well, not like so, not like full blown lying. No, but you it's do. Like, <laughs> like, but it's like, but it's like, if you think it'll make the story better, you'll just straight up fucking lie. <laughs> no, I'm not like, about yeah, it. Yeah, man, that guy just pulled a fucking. He just pulled a gun out. <laughs> like Andrew, that wasn't a gun. He just had a. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna like admit. I'm not gonna lie. It was a PS4 controller. Oh, I, I thought it was a gun. No, you didn't think it was a gun, bro. You thought that we would think that it was cool if it was a gun. Yeah, yeah. 
No, I don't. I don't do that all the time though. But there, I, you're right. There is. I'm not gonna lie and say I don't do that. I just think it's funny sometimes. I sometimes I do take trolling to like a whole nother level, because you know, this guy. But <clears throat> so you're chasing me with the whatever that was. I fall, and I'm not joking, bro. Like you guys saw what this picture looked like, Justin, bro. My, my the, since you you know, how bad was my knee? It was worse than this picture, right? My fucking knee looked like. I mean, it looked like, like that. It was I've, a little bit worse, though. I remember, like, the whole kneecap skin was off. It looked, that's what it looked like when we were kids. I don't Not know if you remember. the whole entire thing. It just looked like that, yeah. but worse. I remember, like, just, like, we were inside, too. We had a stepdad, a really shitty stepdad, by the way. Shout out to you, friend of the show. Well, we went inside, and I was like, hey, look at my knee. Remember, he was like, you should go lay down. Didn't do nothing for it, bro. Didn't put no peroxide on it, no water, no soap. He was just like, I'm watching Sci-Fi Channel. Get your ass to bed. I remember staying up. And mom, if you're watching, because you're probably watching through Zoe's account, so my mom can comment and tell me, tell everybody that, you know, that story is true. But I remember staying up, like, super late that night, and I was just, like, shivering. I remember, like, no, I couldn't wear, I couldn't use a blanket, right, because it was bloody knee, you know? Mom came through the room, like, oh, what happened? Like, what's going on? And I'm sitting there showing her my knee. And when she put peroxide on it, that didn't look pretty, bro. I don't think I've ever seen anything look as ugly as that. Imagine putting peroxide on this. It just fucking foams up. Yeah, it was disgusting, bro. It was disgusting. I remember Travis got mad because I told on him and, you know, hey. Can you imagine the adult who's supposed to help you gets mad because you told on them that he didn't help? So you just go fucking tell your mom I didn't help, huh? Well, you didn't. That's why I told on you. But this picture's funny because that actually happened to me. And I, I think that this generation of kids probably really won't experience much stuff like this. You know, we didn't grow up with the tablets and the phones and we kind of grew up like, uh, like showing all of our friends at the steam bus stop as us the porn on the, on the cable. You know what I mean? And then when mom gets the bill, me and you are in a room building a fort. She comes home freaking out on all the, all the, all the, all the other adults who ordered all this porn. I mean, us sitting in the room like, fuck dude. You have a boomer meme though. Did your meme it. did your did your heart drop though when mom came home yelling about the porn? Like when she was like, my mom came through the door yelling, who ordered all this porn? It couldn't have been me and you, right? Because we were just like little kids, which we did do it, right? But I was so scared in that room with you, but I was like, damn, we got caught, dog. We went to get our mug shot taken and he's like, I was so scared when mom came through that door, dude. All the other girls we're about to get our mug shot taken. Yeah, yeah, dude. All when all the other grown men were lying, like we didn't do it. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Well, they weren't lying, but you said this is a boomer meme. It yeah. low key is. It low key yeah. is a little bit. Yeah. Because I know that like kids are like on their phones and iPads and all that type of stuff, but like they still play outside. They do, but do you think they play outside as much? No, they don't play as much, yeah. but just because you don't play outside twenty four seven doesn't mean you can't scrape your knee. Yeah. And imagine trying to gatekeep like like oh since your knee didn't look like this, then you're not really a real yeah. kid. Yeah, it's kinda of fucking funny. But yeah, so the next one, this one is from a favorite, one of my favorite pages on Facebook, honestly, because if it, the memes are what keep Facebook alive, let's be real. Like, if there was no memes and family drama and, like, all the people with EBK at the end of their name and, like, you know, Brad Getter. I saw a guy, that's not, his literal name was Brad Getter EBK. Like, I'm sorry, bro, but that's just where, like, if I'm a boomer for making fun of you, I'm sorry. Then call me a boomer. Can you imagine trying to get pussy and your name is Brad Getter EBK? Like, I'm sorry, you just can't. Yeah. I get a message from Brad Getter EBK. Hey, bro, you talking to my girl? Yeah, because you don't have a real name, dog. That's why I was talking to your girl. But this meme, you have you have to give up one forever, right? Now, for you, this would be probably easy for you because you don't really drink like that, right? So you'd probably give up the liquor, right? But so there's liquor, which I'm assuming that's whiskey, pizza, chocolate, and bacon. Now, to be honest, a lot of families do this. Like, they'll have, like, alcoholic parents, right? So you're either going to get a kid who drinks like them or drinks, and you're going to get a kid who doesn't drink at all, like, at all. And that's you. That's you, buddy. So, and that's not a bad thing, though, you know? But this is, I can, t I could see people doing that fucking stupid-ass shit. Like, oh, yeah, but is beer alcohol? Because I, I, I can give up alcohol and just drink beer. Like, no, dude, that's not what the meme is implying. Yeah, the meme says... It's alcohol. Yes. and Anything alcohol-related, no. Yeah, ooh, for me, for me, damn. I I honestly think I could give up bacon forever. Like, I love pizza. I love chocolate, right? So that, you know, 
yeah, chocolate would probably be my top one on the list. If I had to rank it from like worst best to worst, I would probably say chocolate, pizza, bacon, liquor. Yeah, yeah, that, I can. Yeah, I knew. I so when I saw this, I knew you would say liquor, right? Which is not a bad thing, you know. You know, what I mean, you didn't, can't. No one. Not everybody has to be a piece of shit. So you know, what I mean, you know what I mean. But yeah, I would probably say bacon, and then if you if I had to go with the next one, I might. I would probably go with chocolate, bro. I think I'd have to keep pizza and liquor on the top too, dude. And like, it's just what it is. But comment below, guys. What are you choosing? I, I I hope a lot of you realize we have problems, right? We all no, have liquor problems, right? No, not that. okay. So there are liquor pro there are liquor problems, but there's people I've seen actual human beings like make bacon like their personality. Oh, like oh, like Republican people, Republican and liberal. Yeah, like yeah. you know, I've seen people like share pictures or videos and. You know, bacon is life. Well, we, I was depressed today, but I had a bacon sandwich. Oh my god! And it like, tastes so. We, we, we well, me and you knew a kid in school. He was like special ed, and I I was respectful this time. Right? I didn't say what I wanted to say, but he was special ed. And uh, what was his name? Timmy, right? Timmy, which is like, come on, Timmy, special ed. You already kind of set up for failure. I love Timmy though. Like we were actually really. I was cool with him, bro, until he started growling at me like a like a raptor. And I did because at that age, I didn't understand what that was. Right? We and you would just go to the lunchroom, and this guy's eating the fat off all of his bacon. Remember, he had like a bag of bacon, all the fat, and then it's like, wait a minute, where you're not gonna eat the rest of the bacon? I don't understand what's going on. And we didn't understand what special ed was at the time, right? So I I got in a fight with him. You know what I mean? I got in a fight with the special ed kid and I had to go in front of the whole school and me and him had to apologize. And why did he have to apologize first of all? Now looking back on it as an adult, I'm sorry, Timmy. You shouldn't have had to apologize, dude. Like it was, should have been me, but like I didn't understand what that was at the time. And uh, I, had to, yeah, I had to stand in front of the school and like say how that wasn't okay and physical violence is never, and I mean, you know what I mean? And so he actually did beat my ass, by the way, the special ed kid. He like pretended he was a raptor and like he hella got me, which I miss him. I wonder if he's alive. That'd be cool to like reunite him, but to me, like this, did you still have the bacon addiction or what, dude? But it's not gonna remember that show. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he, he probably would. But yeah, so the the next picture that I'm gonna put up here graciously for you guys, because if you're on Spotify and Apple Podcast, you can't see the goddamn picture, so I'm gonna tell you what it is because it's exposition. And I lost breath, but so right here, Bob, I've been thinking about this for a long time. Like, uh, traffic shouldn't be real, dude. Every time I'm in traffic, I think to myself. We're in traffic because the people up front see a cop or a crash and they have to drive slow to look at it, right? So when you think about how traffic doesn't actually exist and it's just a human error over and over again, it really pisses you off more, right? Because the science behind traffic, there shouldn't be traffic. No, there's actually a video that if I could find it when I when we do editing, like I'll I'll put it right here. Mm -hmm. But like there's a video I saw where like traffic is literally created by like one human error yeah like somebody will like you know make a shitty lane switch or some stupid fucking thing and then that will literally trickle down to everything else to like now everybody they're... behind them has to stop and then stop and then stop and then stop and then next thing you know because holy shit bro if you've and you've you and carly probably experienced this but if you ever go towards tacoma you know where they always work by the bridge by the dome like for the past decade, it's just been always being worked on, right? So, like, when you go to Tacoma and you're in traffic for, like, hella long, you realize, like, bro, we're really sitting here because you guys want to look at something. If we all just start going the speed we're supposed to go, there shouldn't be goddamn traffic, dude. And sometimes it's because a cop pulled someone over. And it, when you actually get up to where the traffic is being caused at, and you're like, whoa, this is why we stood here for 30 minutes, bro? Because, like, it, it, well, it doesn't help with the road rage people have, right? People have, like, severe road rage. Like, they will literally get out of their car and, like, throw, put guns in your car window. And it's like, bro, we're doing all this because of a human error, right? So, like, you know, yeah, but you guys can comment below, too. Like, if you, if you hate traffic just as much as I do, we got to change it, bro. I don't think we're going to be able to because people are just mongoloids. But, I mean, I don't want to stay in traffic the rest of my life. And that's just what it fucking comes down to. So one of the last ones that I'm going to show you guys that we're going to go through, I screenshotted this because holy shit, bro, there's no better way to like, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but 
Like when you meet a girl or a guy or whatever, your partner, right? And you go to their, their family's house and someone goes, hey, what do you do for a living? Or what do you do? There's a lot of pressure behind that, right? Yeah, there actually is, bro. That's funny as fuck. And you, and you feel like you have to like, if you're not like a CEO or somebody who's making hella money, you're a failure, right? And we've, because that's something we've created. It's like when people say the matrix, I know it sounds corny when I say that, but it's like we've created a system to where your worth is based on what you do for another person's company. Or what you just do, like, money-wise, right? And your job. And there's a lot of pressure. Like, when I first met Emily, there was a lot of pressure. Like, I was so intimidated by her mom, right? That I felt like I wasn't good enough to be a part of the family. I had, like, the Fred Flintstone effect, right? Where, like, I was, like, if I if I wasn't a millionaire, I would never be good enough to be a part of this family. And that, to me, it changed a lot as the years go on. Because right here, so what do you do? The person goes, I'm a cashier. The other person goes, oh, I didn't mean what you do for money. I mean, what do you do for the world? Bro, I mean, there's, I to me, that that struck a chord with me when I saw this. Because, like, yeah, like, wh- who gives a fuck if you stock shelves somewhere? Who cares if you deliver or, like, you're a truck driver, right? Like, who c- cool, right? But seriously, what do you do for the world? I, I bet if people ask that more, that's where I feel like your worth should be. What do you do for the world, right? So if somebody was to ask me that, Andrew, what do you do for the world? For me, I would say, well, I feel like with what we do here with the podcast, especially with like the podcast, I feel like some of the messages that I try to get across through the camera, that could do good for the world, right? Good for the world, right? Sorry, I glitched. Because, like, let's say a kid or somebody in the world sees it, they get inspired and they do something. And that causes a trickle effect down to all these different types of people. To me, I would die. Di- I'm cool with that. I would die happy. If what I, if what you saw today inspired you to do something and that actually did something, then I am doing good for the world. I am spreading art and love and joy and stuff that actually matters. So if somebody was to say that to me, I'd be like, yeah, I actually do. In my opinion, spoken word is, and it depends on what you're saying, honestly, but that does do good for the world, bro. It depends on what you're saying, though, right? I feel like nine times out of ten, though, they're not talking about that. What, what like you most, do for the like, world? Yeah, like nine times out of ten, if somebody asks you that, they're literally asking, like, what career field are you in? Yeah, I know that you are right, though. And maybe that should be maybe if people asked it a different way, it would instead of like, oh, where do you spend? Where do you waste nine hours of your day? Right. It's like, well, I uh, I work in electronics and I sell phone chargers to everybody because no one knows what goddamn phone they have. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, bro, people say that. I, you, you, listen, these people get to vote. These people get to drive, right? The same people who are like, you bought a phone. It's like, hey, what phone? What if You need a case for that? What phone do you got? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I don't know either. So, so you know, but I, I get kind of embarrassed, bro. And here's the deal. There's no job in this world. Seriously, there's no nine to five job in this world where I would be proud to tell somebody I do that. I'm being honest. There is no nine to five job ever where I would say, oh, I proudly do that. Sorry. I know the older generation says that I, I that's not hard work and I don't know what work ethic is. And yeah, true, maybe. True. But there, but there was this one time, Dustin, you brought the kids in to, my, to where I work, right? You brought the kids in and there was something inside of me, bro, that was just hella sad. I didn't want them to see me like that for some reason. You know what I mean? And they were happy to see me. I remember Avery Campa gave me a hug and I was like, hey, you know, all right. But like, I didn't want them to see me working there. I was like, D- I don't want them to see me like working for another person, like working for another man. I don't know if you remember, but um, me and you were stalking one day. This was a couple years ago and we saw my f- sixth grade teacher. I, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She came in and told me the same shit. She's like, I'm proud of you and you have a job and, you know, whatever, whatever. But she's like, hey, when I come in here next year, I don't want to see you here. And I was, and I think that I was gone by the time she came back, too, which is funny as fuck. Yeah, she came back. She was disappointed in me. Not by <laughs> <laughs> she's like, what did I tell you? Well, yeah, because it's not like it's bad to have a job, but it's kind of like, you know, 
they, yeah, it's not bad you know, as a at teacher, all. she probably, you know, expects the world of her students and yeah, yeah, no, hey, I want to make that clear too before we end the episode. Like, I, if you, have, I'm not making fun of you for having a job, right? But we are all worth more than than that. Once we realize that, bro, we will be in a better place for like we are. You're not, you're not bad for wanting to take care of your family and your kids, but for me, I have really high expectations for myself and for my brothers and my sisters and whoever's in this family. Okay, my expectations will always be high. Because no one had that for us, right? So I have to, we have to start that. I, I, cool. Mom and grandma and all them and aunts and uncles, they're cool with, with like mediocrity and they're cool with us doing that. But I'm not. That's why we do this. And we try to have fun in the podcast. Because seriously, like, they didn't care about what they, bro, do you think they cared to send? None of them care about, like, they didn't show, hey, Justin Andrew, I don't, I, you know, go to, you know, this. You need to do this. No, none of them. That's how we got to do that, right? So that's why I felt like that certain, like, I felt sad when Avery Noah had to see me there. I was like, you, bro, this isn't me, Avery. I promise. Like, this isn't how me and your dad want to set your guys' future up. And for even my own kids when I have them, right? Like me, like, I don't know. I just felt weird. I don't know. And that maybe yeah. that's just me projecting. And it probably is me projecting, but... So that actually motivated me even more. I was like, "Dad, I gotta go harder, bro." Because the next time Avery sees me out of my work, it's not gonna be in a fucking vest. It's not gonna be me behind a counter. It's gonna be me and and Daddy fucking behind a mic, and maybe Juan Joe Rogan. Nah, man. but we, we, if we do, bro, right? Then she would get to. Yeah, see, what I'm saying like, I the, think about that stuff, man. Um, I think it was last week. We were we were eating, and I had met like family members on kylie's side that i've never met before and this fucking dude asked me that it's that exact question actually who would you tell him like no i t it was hella awkward because like if it, 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 it felt long but it was probably like a second i was just like uh i'm i'm at home <laughs> <laughs> that's all i said bro and like it was so funny just how to see how he reacted because like i'm assuming they're just like old school like fucking type of people yeah so he didn't, like, he didn't like it? No, well, I mean, he was like, he was like, oh, yeah, cool. That, that's cool. And, like, he just, like, kind of, like, broke yeah, eye contact know, and, like, tried to, like, search subjects hella fast. And I was like, yeah, bro, I'm right there with you, bro. I don't know what the, you know. He looks like, I didn't know you like. <laughs> <laughs> you, why don't you start telling people that, bro? Like, hey, what? if they ask you that, like, I'm, 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 be like, hey, I produce and edit for the world's biggest podcast. Let's see what they say. What the fuck are they going to say? They're going to fact check you? They're not going to fact check you. It's like, yeah, I'm like, what well, no, the, that, I mean, like, that's kind of what I tell people anyway, not in that. No, I don't say that, but like, <laughs> those, I'll, I'll tell them, just be like, hey, you know, I do this, but you know, on, on the side, yeah, you know, we do music, podcasting, and hopefully that, you know, takes, takes off, takes us to somewhere in life. Yeah, but yeah, that's fucking funny. it's just hella weird mm -hmm. when like, you know, I'll, I'll go like at a restaurant or I'm at my fucking something in, in life where like, you know, obviously I'm spending money. So they just are like, hey, what do you do? And Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. So you're a stay-at-home dad, aren't you? There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. You know, everybody envies you, by the way. And if anybody makes fun of you, they're lying to you that they wouldn't want that. Like, I want that. I want that, bro. But I can't. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I can't. So, like, I can't. I'm not going to be one of those guys that Justin's not a real man. Because, like, I would fucking suck a dick to fucking be able to stay at home. I would. And I'm not gay for saying that either. Like, anybody who's saying they wouldn't do that, bro, you're fucking lying, dude. Like, you're lying. <laughs> Anybody would want to stay at home, bro, and like be able to see their kids every day. There's some of you who don't see your kids at all and you don't fucking work. So there's that one. So don't make fun of Justin. I, I swear to God, don't make fun of Justin. But yeah, and oh, by the way, I, I, I thought last week I told the whole Fran story wrong. Where I remember she was about the pepper spray me. Because like, hey, Fran, when, when, you, when I turned towards you, you did have the pepper spray, right? She goes, oh, yeah. I'm like, damn, because I thought I did that thing where like I made the story sound better. Like, to make this... But no, she did have the fucking pepper spray. So, you know, in the beginning when you called your sweet older brother a liar about everything, which I don't fucking lie about everything. I mean, I, just some things. No, I feel like... You kind of ruined my reputation. every fucking you kinda story, you which kinda is kind of why you could deserve a podcast, because you'll just fucking lie until you get famous, dude. You, I don't lie about everything. You're gonna fake it till you make it. <laughs> I don't lie about everything, though. There's stories that I You know I how when you watch, like, a game interview? Yeah. You know, like, the rapper... <laughs> and he'd be like, "Yeah, man, I put, I yeah. fucking met Obama when he was in high school. Like, yeah, game, you weren't alive when Obama <laughs> was in high school." 
<laughs> oh shit no i see what you're saying i'm not even mad about it because i do i do do that sometimes he's right? like yeah man i fuck kim yeah. kardashian and me and kanye <laughs> talked about it and he was like hey game bro i know you hit it first but that's my wife like yeah that's definitely not a real conversation that ever happened i guarantee it <laughs> No, that because there is some things that like I there, there is thing there's a lot of things that I do say on here that are real though like that that that, that did happen, right? Mm -hmm. So, but you're talking about like in our personal life, like I don't come on here and be like, oh, like because you know how I said the whole men in black story, which that could be fake. No, I'm not talking about that. Me, I'm that talking happened. about like little stuff. Yeah, like that. Like you'll be you know, like the the thing I just said earlier about like a gun. Yeah. Like yeah, he had a gun in his car, and I was like, no man, that was. That was a remote control. And then you'd be like, oh, wow, I, I, I thought it was a gun. And like, yeah, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad that you're saying this because it's actually pretty fucking hilarious, dude. So, But yeah, that's the end of the podcast tonight, guys. Next week, we have a... F and it's a good week next week because I'm hoping to God I can get Warren to come next week. Pause. Because it's the three-year anniversary of this goddamn show. Three years of me lying. Three years of me grifting. You know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm not, this isn't satire, by the way. Like I really just fucking... Everything that comes out of my cocksucker is a complete fucking lie. Fabrication. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I've survived this long. There's, I don't know how I have anybody supporting me, dude. Uh, my, sometimes, like, there's so much cum in my ass that, like, it just dribbles out a little bit. And I have to, you know, someone has to, someone has to clean it up. But, yeah. Next it's probably past already, no? No, because it's in July. I looked at the video of the first, the first podcast we did about the Bakersfield High School thing. And it dropped in July. So that's why I do the anniversary film. What was the first time we did a video on this channel? That yeah, was it. Oh, the first ever about like with podcasting? Was no, it on this channel. Hold on. Yeah, it was the In Bakersfield. order to not lie, let's pull it yeah, up. Yeah, because I thought it was the Bakersfield one though. No? That was on another channel, was it not? No, it was on this one. I mean, yeah, he's pulling it up. I hear pause, but... And, I, and by the way, we say pause because I want to. Because it's a free country. So suck my suck my dick dude, a little bit, but eat my ass a little bit, but okay, hold on, we're we're almost there. Yeah, let's go to let's go to newest to oldest, bro, or oldest to newest, baby. It doesn't give you that option. No, no, it just says recently uploaded. Oh really? Oh, that was on the channel. Do I look at you not lying, dude? Yeah, I know. See, you just you made a good case for yourself. Yeah, I see. It's uh July eighth. I could be my own lawyer, so. Yeah, that's why next week will be perfect because it'll come out around July, you know? So as no, long as it, it, Well, as long as it comes out during this time, right? Like around the June late June ish, early July part, I'm cool with that. But yeah, we you guys blow Warren up, dude. Everybody absolutely oh, it come out July fourth. July fourth? That's I'm fine with that. Yeah. Because this is that? gonna come out on the twenty seventh. And then we got, the and next then, week would be on yeah. July 4th. Everybody, bro, go into Warren's inbox. I'm not joking. It, it fucking dox him if you have to. It, it dox him. Like, say, hey, I know where you work. For real. And <laughs> for like, real, for real. For real, for real. I would just all show up and shit on your bed like Amber Heard. No, seriously. Everybody go fucking message Warren and tell him, like, he has to do it. Like, and if he doesn't do it, bro, then, then so either you fucking show up next week or I'm going to have to do something drastic. And I won't have to do that, bro. So, and that's not satire, by the way. I'm like really saying that too. Like, I'm not. I know earlier I said cocksucker and lies, but dude, Warren, you show up, buddy. But yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Until next time, peace.